And now for a look at stories making headlines around the world, and we start in Indonesia. A family of six launched a wave of suicide bombings on Sunday in the country's second largest city, killing at least 13 people and wounding 40 others. For more on this and other news around the world, we turn to our Duaram at the News Center. Adam, these attacks are being described as the worst since the Bali bombings in 2005, which killed 20. What do we know so far? Well, Samir, so, we know that the family of six were inspired by the Islamic State group, which has claimed responsibility for the attacks. It didn't mention anything about families or children taking part and said there were only three attackers. But local police say the husband and father of four detonated a car bomb in front of a church. Minutes later, his wife and two daughters, the youngest of whom was just nine years old, attacked a second church and a third was targeted by two sons aged 18 and 16 using a motorcycle with bombs on their laps. Now, police said the family had returned to Indonesia from Syria, where until recently the Islamic State group controlled significant territory. President Joko Widodo visited the scene of the attacks, describing them as barbaric and beyond the limits of humanity. Pope Francis also offered his prayers for the victims. Streets around the bomb churches were blocked and heavily armed police stood guard as forensic and bomb squad officers combed the area for clues. The attacks are the deadliest in Indonesia linked to IS in recent years and the worst since October 2005 when three suicide bombers blew themselves up in Bali restaurants, killing 20 people. Although Indonesia has had some success in cracking down on terrorism, there has been a resurgence of Islamic attacks in recent years amid the rise of IS overseas.